Holy moly donut shop, guys. Is this the top? Is this the top or a top? Is it time for a deeper pullback? The market has been destroying the bears, but not today. Not today. You guys see on this daily chart, we got a bearish engulfing candle for SPY. Bearish engulfing candle, the red candle is bigger than the green candle, and it closed lower than when the than where the green candle uh, opened. Look at triple Q. Is this a blow off top? Blow off top. Look at that red candle. Blow off top, guys. Blow off top for Tesla. Is this a blow off top or a lower high? You guys look at this example of a blow off top from Investopedia. Look at that. It comes down as fast as, as fast as it went up. It's, a lot of times it goes down faster than it went up. And you guys see it today. Look at this intraday price action for SPY. I gave you guys that macro level, FIB level, was at 560, uh, 561.5, right? This is the macro level, FIB level right here. And look what happened. SPY opened above it, closed below it on the 15-minute chart. Yeah. SPY opened a little above it or around that level, broke it down, 15-minute chart. Broke down my next level, 560. Broke down to my next level, 558.5. And then it hit 557, which was actually around where the 5 DMA was. Going as low as 555.83. I mentioned to you guys I had that FIB level at 555.36. Watch out for a back test. Spy got pretty close to back testing that level today. A few cents shy. About 40 cents shy of hitting that level. But look at that. Bearish and golfing candle. The other stocks that I cover... Looking like a blow top. Let me show you guys an example. Look at that. Second time I'm showing the example, okay? Holy moly, here's another example from Trading Sim. Look at that. Goes down faster or just as fast as it went up. Look at the candle. Bearish engulfing, okay? Now, Uncle sounding bearish right now. I'm, I'm sounding bearish right now. Guys, remember, I'm a sheep. I uh, identified the bull case and the bear case scenario for us to be prepared. Okay, you guys all have a set of eyes. You guys all got a set of eyes. And your eyes are priceless. How much would you sell your eyes for? They're priceless. You wouldn't sell them. And what Uncle Charter does is I, is, is I serve as a second pair of eyes. I watch the charts. I identify key levels for you, the setups, the trade ideas. So if your eyes are priceless, how much would a second pair of eyes be? Okay, think about it. Anyways. So from here, we got this bearish engulfing candle for the SPY. If there is bearish continuation, it's got to break down 555.36 tomorrow. It's got to break it down. Okay, the RSI is cooled down. It's out of overbought uh, territory, but it, got, it also has a lot of energy to head down to the oversold territory. Okay, which means this pullback can possibly continue. And I'll know it will continue if... A scenario is met, which is the breakdown of 555.36. If it does look to short, I'll keep holding on to your shorts with 554, 552, and the critical level of 550 in play. That would actually be pretty healthy if we back test. Remember, we had a double top at 550, clear 550, head to new all-time high. It's a beautiful move. So a back test of that level would actually be pretty healthy. Even it, it, it will still be bullish. On the macro level, a back test of 550 would still be bullish. Okay, but you know it'll help the bears out a little too, you know, so they make some money to the downside. You know, that's a nice move. Today's move to the downside was pretty nice, and if it continue, five fifty five point thirty six must fail to put those low targets in play. I would be targeting five fifty. Now, if we lose five fifty, I would definitely lean bearish in favor of a deeper pullback, possibly down to the blue trend line. Okay, but for that to be possible. 555.36 must fail. Let's see what PPI brings tomorrow. You guys saw what CPI did. Let's see what PPI does. It hopefully, usually don't do much, but we'll see. And if there is a bounce, if this is just a back test of the FIB level, trust the bounce if 557 recaptures. That will put 558.5, 560, and 561.5 ish in play. And clearing that level would put new all time highs in play. And that would cancel all that top talking, talking of tops. Okay, guys, don't get too excited. Stay calm, stay humble, stay locked in. Remember the plan.
If there is bearish continuation, 555.36 needs to fail a support, and that would be your trigger, either to enter shorts or to keep holding on to your shorts. All right, guys? Okay, let's move on to triple Q. Look at this. Beautiful. Is this a bow off top? We talked about it. How do we know? What are the signs of a top? Breakdowns of critical support levels. This is stuff I'm going to try to prepare you guys for. Breakdowns of critical support level. High volume selling. This is Uncle. I think I talked about this in, in yesterday's video. Okay? Go to the three minute and nine second mark of yesterday's video. Listen from there. You're going to love me. Anyways. Bunch of levels of loss. So that, where did it close? At 491.9? Okay, so that means resistant. I have resistant at 493.3 and 495. We trust no bounce unless a loss level is recaptured. That's a false breakdown setup, guys. So we lost these levels, these yellow lines. Those, those are my levels. So we got to recapture 493.3 and 495. That's false breakdown setup. That will put 497 in play. A back test of 497 would actually be uh, healthy for the bears. And maybe give it some more strength for a lower low. However, if we recapture 497, that would be a hell of a false breakdown setup and be bullish. All right, guys. But as of right now, as long as below 491.8, I'm bearish. Breakdown of 490. Well, right now, after market is above it, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. But if we can break down and stay below 491.8 and break down 490, I'd be bearish. 488, 486.8, and 484 would all be in play all right here is tesla big body red candle bearish and gold from candle looking like a blow off top as well I look at the example i'm not making this up i'm just going by the example that trading sim and and investopedia has given us look at it anyways it's around 239 right now i have a fib level at 238 let me change the fib levels color it's looking a bit ridiculous okay green 238 is the next fib level, okay? If Tesla breaks down 238, this sell-off continues. We are bearish. Time for a gap fill. Hey, gap fill not all the way to 231. is. That would be a hell of a move to the downside. But for more downside be possible, got to break down 238. That is the pivot level. Trust no bounce unless 241 recaptures, okay? 241 needs to recapture. If it does, 243, 245, 247, and so on. You guys get it. We'll be back in play. Trust no bounce unless a loss level is recaptured otherwise 238 fail continuation bears continuation look at this it's looking like guys it hit this fib level and now it's looking like a potential lower high and if this is a lower high that means either a pivot low previous pivot low incoming which is all the way at 118 or a lower low bears trend okay and we know that it's going to be continue to be bearish if 126.7 and 125 fails tomorrow if those two levels fails, guys, bearish with 123.4, 122, 120, and 118 in play. All right? Bulls need to recapture clear 128 first and recapture 129.4. That is a fib level. We trust no bounce unless it can recapture a loss level. Starting with 128, 129.4, and 132. Those are the loss levels that we lost today, guys. We got to recapture those. All right? His dark pool level for SPY, 556.55. That's 63% of the activity came there. That All right? That was actually around where the buy-in pressure was. Not pinpoint accurate, but around there. So 556.5, that is a dark pool level. Up to you if you want to keep track of that. Triple Q, 503.13 is Triple Q's uh, dark pool level. Main dark pool level for today. NVDA, 127.4. And Tesla, 241. All right, that's actually one of my fib, uh, one of my resistant levels. Okay, let's take a look what the flows are saying for 100k premiums or above. I don't care what the small money doing. I want to see what the bigger money doing. And overall, there are some calls though, but there's a slight edge to the to be bearish right now for the flows. Triple Q is bearish. Uh oh, it's they're agreeing, guys. They're agreeing. Finally, these two usually don't agree, but today they agree. Tesla is bullish and NVDA is bullish as well, right? All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Think about what I said about the extra pair of eyes. Peace.